Hello, today I would like to show you something absolutely amazing. The best antenna in the world that you can commercially buy for a very narrow interest, very narrow niche use case. And I have to first go back for the best antenna for that niche application. This is a British military ground spike antenna. This is antenna used on the Klansman radio radios. As you can see, we've got a spike. That spike you put into the ground. You put the matching unit on top. Here we've got the frequency range and you are selecting correct number of elements like this and you're applying here your signal and you set up your antenna. As you can see this antenna do not require anything except of a ground to stick it. You can deploy it in like a two minute absolutely everywhere, everywhere any location you do not need to depend on having a tree you do not have to spend time throwing a, throwing a sinker on paracord and deploying your antenna system you just take it out from a bag and you can make a call into the base and report yourself so very good for that narrow quick use emergency operation everywhere where you don't want like for example you are taking a hike and every hour you have to report to your base this is a good option of course you are not going to spend like 20 minutes throwing uh, finding a good spot with a uh, nice trees that do not have too much leaves that you can throw a sinker because if there will be too much uh, leaves, too much bushes, it can uh, stack on that. And of course, I, I have this happen. So in general, if you are looking for the antenna for camping, if you are going to hike for a couple of hours, you find the absolutely the best spot you see. Oh yeah, I want to make contact from from that spot then this is not antenna for you but if you need antenna that you can very quickly deploy anywhere without finding a good spot then this is a type of antenna that we are talking about so as you can see very niche application and that very niche application have uh, some some efficiency trade-offs but the the rest is so absolutely crazy high value in your time that this is a great thing but of course that was the best antenna that was kind of working on the upper hf it was not described here but i was adding uh, another extra element so as you can see there was a four element from a uh, 30 megahertz so I add a fifth element and it was kind of working, not good, but with having ability to so quickly deploy this, it was a still a good value in my opinion, worth of caring if you need a, that quick deployment. But this is a terrible antenna by design. There is a power resistor in that base thing that is keeping the SWR low and in general in the army when you've got a problem with the antenna system you add an amplifier and put more power through and if you touch it it's hot because you are wasting power so not a very good antenna but this is a holy grail that I was managed to find on the AliExpress. This is a commercial product. 
it, it was designed for the amateur radio, but of course you can use this on uh, any commercial band frequency with uh, commercial equipment. You can buy 10 antennas like this. You can train your people in using it because it's very easy to tune. And you've got a great system that you can deploy anywhere as long as you are not on a, like a, a rock 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 plate and you just need a soil to stick it let's take a look what we've got inside of this very nice bag and this is the antenna and first of all what you can see is this spike which is a, everything is a very lightweight but this antenna is much longer than the Klansman ground spike and you can fine tune it and this is a great thing so this is our stick stick go into the ground and this is the base unit you screw it in and everything is made really tough really really rugged UHF connector here we've got some spec pack 12 100 watts input SWR should be tuned up to 1.3 we are going to check on the rig expert one day it go from 7 megahertz up to 50 megahertz 50 ohm 4 meter 10 centimeter that's like a crazy big antenna if you've got you've got included cable that is used as a ground plane as a radials but in general as you can see i did not open this package and that because i do not use radials on that type of antennas and if you open any uh, military uh, radio manual like from the clansman prc 320 in this set of a PRC320 you've got uh, also a very nice ground wire spool radials and the user manual is stating that you should use it only if the soil is not conductive so in some place in the world like in the desert, desert you might be uh, using this but if you've got a wet ground then I, I'm not planning to use it in my location. Sticking it into a wet ground will be will be okay. So that's the first part that go to the to the ground and here here we fit our signal and here goes these four poles. They are very good quality, very beefy, absolutely this antenna uh, un, un, unless the the bottom part is built like a tank so absolutely nothing wrong going to happen with this and there is not enough room for me to 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 make it a complete setup but that's how you how you mount it and for the upper hf for upper hf you can just attach this part just like that at the end of those sticks and you can fine tune your antenna this is extremely long this is over two meters after you extend this this is an extremely long antenna as you can see it's going out it's sticking out this is a crazy long antenna. This is not something that you've got on your FM radio. It's crazy long. It's crazy long. And by adjusting the length, you can fine tune this to get a perfect match on the SWR. If you are working on lower frequencies and from electrical point of view the antenna should be much longer then 
you are using this part in between this is how it looks like so as you can see we've got a, a piece of wire and we've got a wiper that's going to change the feed point as you can see and it's making electrically antenna appear longer and now it's go like this and you can fine-tune it you can extend it to full length and you're just tuning by sliding it and everything as you can see it's built very rugged this is a really high quality that wire i'm pretty sure the 100 watts can be uh, perfectly okay with this antenna and this is how it looks like so why this is a uh, very very easy so you can have a marker and just mark like how many of the of the elements you should to to stick out to work on your frequency you can have like a okay you pull every except of those three and that's going to be a really simple setup you just extend the correct length you can be like a three minute you can be deploy and on the air and if you've got the swr meter on the radio like on the code and ngt then you can you can fine tune it and get a very very low swr match so this is how it looks like in my opinion this is the best antenna for a quick emergency anywhere deployment and that's very important part because for a lower frequency if someone hang a dipole or near vertical incidental skyway uh, you you hang up a uh, inverted v with a uh, with a uh, with uh, a reflector on the bottom that's going to work uh, completely different but for a ground wave for emergency communication when you need to deploy it quickly anywhere you don't want to find a uh, good trees you don't want to spend a uh, 10 maybe 20 minutes you don't want to throw the sinker with the with the paracord and be angry that the time for your contact is to the base is uh, going quickly and your your sinker is stuck on the bushes on the leaves you're trying to to pull it it don't going through you have to cut it yeah that can be annoying to be honest i've got no idea why they send me free of this they've got exactly the same length i didn't order them maybe they are afraid it's going to break so they include free i've got no idea and here we've got the user manual but of course it is a uh, chinese stuff but if you want you can take a look you can pause you can try to to translate it but as you can see it's working in any condition you do not have to rely on the on the trees that's a different maybe for that one they included two two of these but even that here we've got uh, two elements two coils so yeah you could use but that was not included that is like a completely different set here you can see what they what they did but that was not that antenna i've got no idea why i've got two of this so yeah this is how it looks like in my opinion a holy grail for a, a tactical quick deployment antenna that you can purchase in many quantities with the same quality from like a, a company manufacturer and it is cheap 
it's it's very cheap if you try to compare it to a uh, military antenna very very good thing so highly recommend thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye